Hello, I'm John Ball, forest health specialist for today's forest, and I'm here to talk to you about managing weeds. You know, insects and diseases aren't the only problems we have when we're managing forest lands. We have a tremendous problem with weeds. And while the weeds aren't a major problem for the mature trees, of course, they certainly can interfere with the survival of the young trees, as well as create other problems. And we have a number of noxious weeds that are very common on forest land. The most common that we have, of course, is Canada thistle. And Canada thistle is a long-lived perennial, which reproduces by seed, but also underground through its wide extending root system. This is probably one of the toughest weeds to manage out on forest lands, and it's tough for two reasons. First of all, it's hard to kill. If you just go out and mow it off, that's not going to work. Quite often you're going to need to come out and do a herbicide application, and the herbicide applications need to be done at the proper time, typically in the fall, to kill it. Now what we like to see is mow it to keep it from going to flower, and then if possible afterwards going out there and spraying it. But here's the critical thing you got to be uh, conscious of, and that is many herbicides that are very good at killing Canada thistle are also very good at killing trees. And we get lots of samples in where people have managed to kill much of the regeneration of the forest while they're killing the weeds as well. So I strongly encourage that any herbicide you're looking at using, read and follow label directions. Because it may say not to use beneath pines, or quite commonly they'll say not to be used within the drip line. Quite frankly, don't use any of the herbicides that say not to be used around pines within one tree height. And so you're going to find there's quite a few restrictions as to which ones you can use. Not only do we have Canada the thistle becoming a problem, but we often see mullen. Now mullen often comes in when we just have, have an opening occurring quite often after a fire. It's a biennial, meaning it comes up one year, flowers the next, and dies. It reproduces by seed. So coming out after it flowers and kills it is more of a revenge spray than really effective management. So just going out there and cutting this out usually takes care of it, and quite frankly, usually within a few years, it begins to fade out very quickly. We also have other thistles, musk thistle. Musk thistle is also a biennial. This will come up one year, flower the next, and fade away. So it reproduces by seed, not by an underground stem, and is often easily managed by mowing. Canada thistle and leafy spurge are usually our two biggest weed problems found on forest land. They are both easily managed with herbicides, but again, selecting the wrong herbicide may end up killing your weeds and your trees.